Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Liam Keane. Liam, oh, interesting night. Uh, plenty to talk about. Wolves 2, Spurs 2. Wolves, of course, losing on penalties to Spurs. What did you make of it? Yeah, um, it, it was another poor start, wasn't it? Um, it was very poor, it's being generous, it was, to be honest. It, it was very, very similar to Brentford. Mm. Um, you know, I, I hate to pick a player out that struggled, but Ruben Nevers was not the same player as he has been in previous games. I think he had, his first half against Brentford was the same, to be honest. Um, I mean, so many wayward passes, um, and, and to be honest, I couldn't really pick out one player uh, that had a good first start, to no. be honest. Um, you know, defensive errors for uh, the first goal and the second, really, I mean, it was a, a ball straight through the yeah, heart of, of defence yeah, that you need, to, you need to do more with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and when you're giving away cheap goals like that, you're giving mm. yourself a mountain to climb. And, and, and they definitely, you know, the, I put it on Twitter that the, the a big thing for me was the, the lack of a press. Mm. Um, but then you had Dendonka who was pressing and he was creating big gaps in, yeah. the, in midfield. Uh, they were exploiting that. They got, a, well, I say, you know, a, a good goal, but against the run of play uh, with the Dendonka goal. And after that, they, you know, the forwards started to press a bit more. They started to have a bit more joy, um, and they took that into the second half. But then uh, got a good goal. Obviously, Dendonka uh, got the assist for that as well. Um, and from there, Wolves looked like they could win it. Really made a few good saves though. <laughs> I've got to give him the credit. Oh no, you mean, you mean there was one from Gill, one from Kane. Yeah, he could have gone either way. But Wolves were a lot more competitive in that second half. Uh, do you feel that the, the Mosquera early injury kind of lost the balance, and, and um, you know, obviously Cody coming mm -hmm. on, and there was a little bit of confusion there because he was on the right hand side. It was a little bit, it was a little bit disjointed. Or, or do you feel that you know, I'm making excuses. I mean, it's good thing, yeah. first of all, for years. I mean, he's yeah. just come back, making his debut in last, what was it? All, 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 six minutes. Six minutes. Yeah. Looks he, like a hamstring. He looked distraught as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah good to you've got, you, you got a feel for him. But. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's difficult to give them leeway there because mm. it did take, it did suck a little bit of the momentum out of the mm. game. Because Wolves, I mean, albeit being six minutes, mm. they were fairly lively getting on the ball. So were the Spurs. The Spurs very quickly after a you know, three-minute break turned around yeah. and started playing again. Yeah. Whereas Wolves didn't, they just you know dropped up totally. And the frustrating thing is, you know, you've, you've, you've got near full house here. You know, got Spurs who are coming in fragile, mm. and uh, you basically fed them into form in one half yeah. of football, haven't you? And that, that's the frustrating thing. And I know then have got a goal before the break, which they need. And, and, and kind of change the game, but it didn't look like it was coming by any means. Um, you know, I mean, they pretty much got decimated in that first half. And, and at the end of the day, regardless of penalties, that's where they've lost in that first 30 minutes tonight. Totally. Uh, I mean, they had a lift, didn't they, after the mm. goal? You know, the Fabio started uh, pressing well, forcing mistakes out of Galini and goal, and a few of the defenders. Um, but it was 38 minutes too late, really, wasn't it, at that point? Uh, he obviously got taken off at half time as well, and um, they have to start quicker than that, yeah. with more intensity. Now, the fact that they showed a bit of resilience and came back from it yeah. is a good sign. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The goal, as you said, the goal came out at a perfect time as well. Um, but they have to start quicker than that. They can't allow teams um, to take advantage like that. And they allowed Brentford to do it, and Brentford took the result. And it, took the three points. And it's all well and good saying, well, you've got to get the fans in the game. Well, you've got to play well to get the fans in the game. And, you know, when, once they started scoring, and, you know, you've got this, especially in a night game as well, there's nothing better. You see Daniel Pudence coming on, scoring that second, and, and the whole thing erupts. And there's only one winner there for me, you know, at the end of that, you know, before the 19 minutes were up. And that's what you need to get them in. But when you're going 1 0, 2 0 down to Brentford, to Spurs, you're not giving them a chance. You know, they've got to start playing better. And, you know, We'll talk about some of the substitutes we'll lose and we'll not use, and we'll do it later on in the podcast as well. But they've got a massive game now on Sunday. This is a really important game. They cannot get into this habit of losing games because what they don't want to do is be 10 games into the season in the bottom three, and then all of a sudden it's an uphill climb. That, the habit is the key word there, isn't mm. it? Habit of losing games. Um, now, you know, there'll be some very optimistic Wolves fans who will look at this as, you know, we pulled it back to a draw and lost yeah. the penalties. Penalties yeah. is always a, a flip of the coin. Yeah. Um, but there were some pretty poor penalties out there yeah. as well, to be yeah. honest. Um, but you're right, they cannot get into a habit of losing games now. We may look back on this in a month or two's time and think perhaps it was a blessing in disguise they've got the Premier League to focus on now for a few months. Um, but yeah, for you me. Sound, you sound like Nuno now. But, when I'm, no, but standing here right now, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. for me, winning games, yeah. getting doing well in the Cups is not just as important as the Premier League, but it's very important. Yeah. You're just getting results is important. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Simple as that. Um, we may look back at it in hindsight as that, but right now they needed a result and they didn't get it. Two injuries tonight. Do you think that, that or especially one of them, do you think that stopped him in us coming on tonight? Um, of course, I know Moutinho came on, which I thought was a bit of a surprise with a few minutes left, but he took the penalty. He was one of the, one of the few that scored his. Mm. Um, very good penalty. Very good penalty, but uh, Raul not used tonight. Um, he's got an important, I mean, 
he needs a goal as well, doesn't yeah, he? This team they just need a bit of confidence. They need to yeah. score the first goal, really, in these yeah. games. I mean, he'll start on uh, Sunday, won't he? That's how that's Breaking. for sure. <laughs> I think you'd imagine so. Um, but it, at one point, it looked like he was coming on. Um, in the end, they chose not to. Yeah. Pedence came off um, after a heavy tackle. He mm. seemed OK. Um, for me, I mean, if you want to ask Bruno, of course, but for me, it looked like the introduction of Hoiberg maybe forced their, mm. uh, their hand late in the game, and they brought on another midfielder to match the three in midfield with Spurs. Um, but in doing that, I think they lost a little bit of the Troy away magic because he was getting on the ball and doing really well on the right for the maybe 20 minutes he had there mm. uh, before the change, maybe half an hour. Um, and then the change came and he was forced as striker alongside Huang. I don't think it quite worked. He was, he was making runs that weren't being found. Um, he wasn't staying close to Huang and having any link-up play yeah. because he, he obviously wants to drift into the space in the channel. Um, so I don't think that quite worked. And so perhaps had they brought Raul on four opponents and maybe gone for it, mm. in that sense, uh, they could have got a winner. But equally, they might have conceded a label with obviously Hoiberg in midfield and uh, overload. You mentioned him. I thought Huang was very good, especially that second half, uh, really driving both behind Pedenti's goal. And uh, I like him. Yeah, I, I like well. the cut. Did you? <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. He's, uh, he stole the ball wonderfully mm. for that uh, potent equaliser. Um, and he's a little fighter, isn't he? He, yeah, he, put, he puts those tackles in. He puts it's not that little. About, well, not that tall, but... <laughs> Although I've never stood next to him, so I don't know. Maybe, he's yeah. bigger than you. Um, six two. Um, yeah, no, yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit of a fighter. He's uh, uh, I, I like the way he puts himself about. Mm. puts himself into precarious situations to try and get the ball back and works hard. Uh, what do you think? I mean, Traore, would you, would you stick with Trincao? Do you think we try with Trincao and, uh, and Raul against the uh, front three? Or do you think Wang's got himself a chance to, to, to push that start in place? It probably will be that, because obviously Trincao didn't play mm. either. For me, I'd, 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 be, tempted, yeah. I'd be tempted to mm. bring in for Trincao, bring in either Wang or Ponens. Yeah. I thought Ponens had a really poor first half, mm. really, really poor, actually. He get the ball away so often. Yeah. Um, Second half, much better. Sort of a him and Fabio could have been pulled to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, he was much better in the, in the second half. Took his goal very nicely. Mm -hmm. um, so that you know, scored against Forest as well. That might push him maybe ahead of Trincao if, if a change is made. Um, but I think you know, Huang, not a great first half, but better than Bogans. Second half, again, much improved. So it could be one of the one of the two. A difficult one to read tonight because you got you know yeah, end, of the, end of the game and you've got half the fans kind of clapping and thought well that was a that was a bit of a gutsy performance mm. after the start. Then you got half the fans pretty pissed off once they've interviewed them outside as well. So yeah. it's a funny one uh, to, to to kind of judge really. I mean, disappointment of course about the Carabao Cup. But yeah. it, there were a few glimpses there, but you know, end of the day they need to be better, don't they? They, they need to be. They need to start better. So mm. It comes down to that, really, doesn't it? And they need results. Um, so, you know, disappointment is only natural. You can take positives out of it. That they, had, they showed a bit of guts, a bit of resilience to come back. Um, two nice goals, and the fact they're scoring goals as well is a big thing because you know that's a that's been a concern. So, it's there are positives to take for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, not getting a result, mm. that is going to be. That's what people are going to look at, aren't they? When they look at the, the results table, they're just going to see loss, 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 win, loss, loss. And yeah. you need a result. You need a result to change that. They're going to start seeing that. I haven't been a win yet this season. That's what they're going to start seeing. God, get Judy around. Uh, Wolves are the Carabao Cup. Uh, big game on Sunday. Now, for all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.